Hi, I'm Hadas, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you how you can find WOW images to use in your Canva presentations. Let's go! Let's open up a presentation template and see how we can upgrade it and give it a facelift using WOW images. So I went ahead to this template bank and clicked on this one, which is quite nice, but mm, not wow. So I have this minimalistic, very subtle colors in this presentation and let's go ahead and see how we can make this a wow presentation. So let's go with the first slide and this is actually our great topic, reporting on our progress. Now this is a very plain slide with a solid color background, no images, no elements. So let's start with maybe dragging and dropping a wow image as a background. What we want to do if we have no ideas where to start from, we can just use the words that are already there in our slide. So let's try and search for the word progress. You'll be surprised how many amazing options you can get from Canva by just typing the plain word progress. So I have all these photos here and let's say that I will drag and drop this one. All I have to do is change the colors of my text and look what happens with just one click. Okay, move things around a little and there you have it, reporting on our progress. Much more interesting than that plain yellow. But maybe this is not perfect for everyone and maybe you're not too keen on using this kind of photo or this color palette. So what we can do is, number one, if this is not your favorite color palette, you can always go to effects and then pick some kind of effect that will change the color of this photos. For example, just going to do tone, you can change the colors of this photo to anything. You can go with the orange color palette, a pink, blue, green. It changes automatically all the colors of your photo. Or let's cancel this. You can also use the style transfer. The style transfer is kind of a new effect that Canva has added and you can do some amazing things with it. Let's say the window. What it does, it creates this artistic effect that maybe some of you relate to better. But let's say none of these are an option for you. So let's just delete this photo and let's go and search for the word reporting, which is also inside our topic. You get some very interesting photos here and let's say I'm going to drag and drop this one change my text color to something that will be much more contrast and there you have it but maybe you don't like these background photos so no worries let's go back to our solid color and let's go again to the photos tab and search for a reporter this time now you might be thinking a reporter that's kind of a news reporter a media reporter what does that have to do with me reporting on our progress so let me show you how you can adjust a photo to make it your own. So I will be searching for a reporter that is happy, positive, because I have positive things to report about. And let's say I'm going to use this lovely reporter. Now what I need to do is remove the background. This is something you can do with a per account only. So I'll just go to the top white bar, click on effects and click on background remover. So let's just place her down here. I'll move my text, move this here, and resize her a little. Now this is cute, but if I want to add a more wow effect and create a kind of illusion that this is popping out of my slide, kind of like creating a third dimension, creating depth to this photo, I can easily just click on it, go back to the effect, and choose a shadow. You can scroll down to the shadows effect, click on show all, and let's go with a drop shadow. Just click on that, and there you have it. When you use an image of a person, any human, it's easier to relate to that person. So this is a very positive, happy, successful photo. So I would just recommend we change this yellowish to maybe white, but I have to say that when you are using white and presenting on a screen, sometimes the white can be too bright. Then I suggest going with a grayish kind of white, let's say something like this. This makes everything more subtle and easy to look at. 
So this is one option to create and find WOW images for your opening slide. Now let's open another page and go back to the templates and let's say that I want to use now this kind of text. So no images here, no elements, photos whatsoever. And so this makes it a little dull and hard to follow. As an audience, although the presentation could be super interesting, I might not be interested in this slide. So let's just move these things around a little and let's say that I'm going to use bullets, but not your ordinary kind of bullets. I will not use the numbers or the little dots. We have Canva. So let's use some infographic icons. We can use so many different types of them and add so much more interest and wow effect to our slides. Let's go ahead and see. This first text box is talking about keeping it balanced. Let's go to the Elements tab and search for balanced. Don't be scared of using your own words to find images. So balanced, I have these great icons here. Let's say I'm going to use this one and I can easily change its color to the purple I have in my first slide. I think it was something of this kind. Now let's go ahead and see our second text box. So it's actually the same. So just for demonstration, I will change this, keep it balanced, keep it simple. Okay, so let's search for simple. Not your ordinary search word, I know, but let's see what we find here. So I have all these kind of simple icons I can easily use. And I think for this matter, I will go with a thumbs up. Now, in this case, let me just replace it here and change the color also to purple. So we can add some color and liveliness to our slide. And let's say that our third paragraph will be talking about keep it easy to understand. So here, let's search for you got it, understand. So you see, you don't need to be the most creative person in the room. You can just use your own words and Canva does all the creativity for you. So I have some great icons here that I can use, make it simple to understand. This could be great. Resize it, replace it, color it. There you go. Let's just change the background to our grayish white. Now, if you want to add some more interest to your slide, we can go and search for impact since this is our topic. So let's go again to elements and let's challenge Canva with impact. And you have some beautiful things here. And just by using something like this, not too clear what it is, I can change its color, change its position, we can do something like this and this adds a nice dash of color to our very white grayish slide. So there you go. You can find very easy bullets that are actually wow infographic icons to your slides. Now let's go to page number three. So let's say now I want to talk about part one, understanding. I want to give you an idea to use a photo with some effects. And the first effect I'd like to suggest would be a smart mockup. You can add a lot of interest and create a lot of curiosity with your audience by using a wow mocha. So let's go ahead and search for understanding under photos. You'll be surprised by the results you will get. So let's scroll down and see what we have here. I already get a lot of ideas here. How about we use this photo? You can use this photo just as a plain photo or inside a frame. It could work really well but I think it can work much better on a mockup. So let's click on this photo, go up here to the white bar, click on effects and scroll down to smart mockups. And here, what I'd like to do is integrate this photo on a t-shirt and that will create something that is interesting and creative. You won't be able to see this photo on other presentations. So let's go ahead and see what we have under smart mockups. Scroll down to clothing, let's go with this one. Once we click on that, this is automatically generated on her t-shirt or sweatshirt and we can easily adjust it. Just click on these three lines and let's change her sweatshirt color to kind of grayish bluish photo that we already have. So let's just go to the effects and remove the background. Okay, let's just move some things around. 
and let's keep our background the same white grayish background which means we need to change our text to black let's just go down here change all the white to black change this little icon let's just place our mock-up right here now to give this more depth and have it pop out let's use again the shadow effect so just go to effects click on shadows you know the drill Size this a bit, place it here. And once this is done, we've actually created our own custom made wow image. And I personally really like it. And now I'd like to pick another slide from the template. And let's say we're gonna go with prioritizing. So we had part one understanding. Let's say this should be part two prioritizing and you would put more slides in between. I'm sure let's get rid of this very beautiful illustration, but I want to show you how we can find a wow image for this. You were right to think that I would just search for prioritizing. So let's go to photos and type in prioritizing. Now we have a lot of interesting photos here. And although I can use some of them, Maybe I'm not too keen on doing so. So what you can do is use the information bank that you have. The information bank that I'm talking about is the three dots that you have on each right corner of your photos. You have this also in elements. And once you click on that, you get the name of your photo, where it comes from, the source of the photo and more keywords for you to search. You can find this also once you click on a photo, you have the little eye up here. So it's actually the same thing, different location. So let's say that I can't find exactly what I'm looking for. Let's click on these three dots and see what I can find under this photo. Maybe teamwork could be a good option when prioritizing. Let's try to drag and drop this and maybe add this here. So it's okay, but not perfect. Although I think these photos can work really well as a background photo. Let's go back to prioritizing. And what I actually found here is this beautiful photo that actually has the right purple that I really need for my color palette. Now, although this photo you would think talks about time or about deadlines or anything of that sort, when you are using it under a slide that is talking about prioritizing, you can always make the connection as you speak. So you can talk about how prioritizing is time management and how you use your time so you can reach your goals. You can use a photo or an image that at first glance doesn't seem quite right, but when you put the puzzle together and you add what it is that you're going to say up front, you can connect all the pieces together to make one whole. So I would stick to this photo because colors are right and I can easily make it work with the subject or the topic I'm talking about. So that's it. I hope I gave you some ideas on how to find wow images for your presentations. And don't worry about creativity. Canva has all the assets you need to be creative. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you are on your way to wow your audience. See you next time.